I think we really have to consider, that given the fact so many people hate us, that we're going to have to cut off Muslim students from coming to this country for some period of time so that we can at least absorb what we've got, look at what we've got, and decide whether some of the people here should be going, be sent back home or sent to prison. What? That was our own Bob Beckel, co-host of The Five, right here on FNC, suggesting the country may need to take a new look at Muslim students coming to America after the terrorist attack in Boston. His comments coming as we today learn that the surviving bombing suspect is telling investigators that religion did indeed motivate this deadly attack. Bob Beckel, co-host of The Five right here on FNC, and they were, they were you know, it was a radicalized form of, of Islam from everything we've heard. Right. But wow, that's a controversial statement, Bob. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I, I went to sleep with last night and woke with it uh, with my phone ringing. Uh, but I'll tell you, here's, here's the, where we have to look at this. There are 75,000 Muslim students on visas in this country. Mm -hmm. Student visas are the easiest things to get. One of the people in 9-11 was on a student visa. Mohammed Atta. Yeah, and there have been others on student visas. Um, we see a case where the FBI has a difficult time keeping up with this fellow who was in Boston. He wasn't a student, but, and what I'm suggesting, it would not have stopped the Boston Marathon. But it seems to me there's a lot of investigation that still has to be done, and better that we take a break here, get that done, and take a two-year hiatus from allowing students. It's, it's unfair in many ways, but let me also clarify one thing. People who are here now, Muslim students, should stay here. Those who have been accepted for school in September should be here. It's after that I think we need a breathing point. How do you get there? Because we asked the Brain Room to, to pull a list of terrorists who entered the U.S. in student visas. We've got one, two, three, four, you know, maybe five. Uh, out of 75,000? So, I mean, well, but the you, numbers aren't really in favor of saying let's penalize the well, other 74,995. Well, the the, the, the 74,995, uh, uh, how many of those have been looked at very carefully? Well, I mean, that's one of the problems here. We can say only a few have gotten in on student visas, but we've got a lot of students here who um, may themselves harbor some feelings about the resentment towards the United States. Look, they come from countries where they are, frankly, brainwashed about the United States from the beginning. They don't, they're, they're, their leaders don't like the United States. Well, if, but if that is true, then why aren't we seeing, you know, mass attempts at terror by these students? The, the facts just don't bear it out. Well, I think part of the reason is that most of them have no interest in doing terror. That's not my point. My point is not to suggest that there's a cell of 75,000 people here. What I'm suggesting is that those students coming from those countries, where those countries harbor resentment, against the United States, if we could save one Boston Marathon event or one child's life by saying we're going to take a two-year hiatus from countries that we know do not like us and know from whence terrorism is coming. That would not have included Russia. Uh, yeah, it would have. You would have said, no, we're going to, we're going to ban anybody from Russia. You're basically, no, no, it's, it's if you're Muslim. You're not just talking about the, the like, Turkey and Iran. No, and no, 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 I, I, that's right. I, I, I took that as You'd if, say I, Russia, too. Forget it. There's five. No, 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 no. The, 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 If there were Muslim students from Russia, from Chechnya, and things like that. But you know, I took that list, and I brought it down just to Muslim countries. And I came up with about 75,000 of the 515,000 uh, uh, 515, who are here now. Uh, do, you, do you say to yourself, uh, you're being very punitive here to other people, to these kids who want to learn to study, and a great university system. And kids who could be exposed to the American way of life, and some of them who could be persuaded that it's a great thing, we stand for freedom, something they don't see in a lot of their home countries. Yeah, except have you, have you noticed, uh, as I have, that whether it was 9-11 or any subsequent act by a, a Muslim in this country, has one leader of one country been sympathetic? Has one person stood up? Has one cleric stood up? No, they haven't stood up. And there, I have always believed that uh, there are a lot of moderate Muslims, but they are all silent in the face of, I assume, fear about uh, the radical elements of Islam. But it, I just am appalled that we haven't heard a single thing out of any Muslim countries, out of any leaders, out of any clerics, out of any imams, that says, you know, this is terrible. It's not the way Islam is put. But if we go with that, if we go with your theory that, you know, these, these students are a potential risk, mm -hmm. I mean, what's to stop us from taking the next step and going to Japanese internment camp route? You know, and like, let's, let's round them all up. Let's forget about the ones who want to come in. Let's take the ones who are in the country. I mean, now you're getting into a you know, dangerous place. I'm usually on the other side of the table but getting these kind of questions you're throwing at me, being a liberal. I, I would usually be, this is not a position that I take lightly. Uh, because I think that's why it made news. 
Well, I guess. But I, I say it because I think that there is a potential of 75,000 people in this country of finding one or two more terrorist acts to take place. We also know that, that there are people who, Muslims in this country, who have become radicalized in this country because they've gone to mosques and they have picked up on this. Some have been falling on the influence of foreign uh, imams. It's just a risky situation, and we know. But what about the argument that if we do that, if we start behaving that way, we become something other than what we are? I mean, they win because they change what America is and what it stands for. They win. They they're winning already. I live in Washington D.C. on the weekends, and my the beautiful city has been virtually shut down in terms of monuments, as the big ugly barriers in front of them since 9/11. You shut down Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House. You, you lock the doors of the Supreme Court. We are reacting to real threats, but we're constantly on the defensive. And I'm suggesting here that might just might make some sense for 48 months to go on the offensive a little bit and at least clear out. I mean, we know that there's active investigations on some of these students. The FBI is doing that. The FBI doesn't have unlimited resources. Let's let that get finished, and then let's continue the way we were. The FBI did investigate five different, by our count, five different terror suspects and then moved on from them. That's exactly right. Who went on to commit acts of terror inside this country, including Major Nadal Hassan at Fort Hood, and this guy, and the underwear bomber, and others. Uh, so their track record... Well, that's, yeah, the track record is not, is not good, question. which was, and I, I suppose the Paul Thomas got to be answering that, but, you know, you think about this one in Boston. I mean, that is, of all, is the one I find most difficult. Here they, they closed the investigation of a guy before he even went to Russia. And then he went to Russia and, and stayed in a place near Chechnya, uh, and then they closed it down. I, I don't and if you look at we had we had a, a homegrown terrorist expert on the show yesterday who talked about these are things you look for. This is this is what you'd find. Um, it was like a checklist uh, that looked like Tamerlan Sarnaev. You know, like they become a little bit less connected to their friends. They they have outbursts at their mosque. They get kicked out of their mosque or get threatened with getting kicked out of their mosque. They they withdraw from some of the societal things that they enjoyed doing before, like in his case, boxing. Um, they travel sometimes to radical places. I mean, the list was, I mean, if the FBI had talked to well, Scott Atron right. and gotten his list and continued the follow-up, he would have had red flags all over. Yeah. All right, Bob, i got to run. Okay, good But fortunately, you have another whole hour devoted to Bob Beckel and a couple of others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that takes place I'm going at 5 myself. <laughs> Bob, thank you, sir. You're